It's Bourbon Night. It's a flight fight. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have something interesting here. What are we deeming this one? We're deeming this one, like, keep it 100-ish. Ish. Ish. <laughs> no, um, it's kind of hard to title this one because they are all around 100 proof. Um, Actually, three... Three of four are Three 100 of proof. four, and the other one is one proof point off. It's making it very tough to title. <laughs> um, but the, these are what we would call like mid proof range value pours. Yeah. In fact, we have, we brought a visual aid. So let's toss up that graph. So you're now looking at a graph with the three circles and we're going for that intersection of the middle, right? Right. So where price, quality, and ease or availability uh -huh. intersect, which is actually surprisingly hard because we've talked about this before. Um, you know, you can find things that are a low price that are easy to find. We would call those bottom shelf. No bottom shelf course. shaming. No but bottom shelf shaming, but they're, they're not, not always, always the best. Or they're not the proof that you're wanting. They might be right. 80 proof, 90 proof, you you know, hundreds, great proof. Right. And we can think of lots of things that are a decent price and high quality. Like mm -hmm. I would say, I think uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is a fair price and it's yep. a great quality, yep. but good luck finding that on the shelf. Obviously, with throwing that disclaimer, uh, that varies. Some people are like, it's on the shelf right That's now. Just in our area, I price wish, may vary. I wish we could be in, yeah, in, in that area. Um, yeah, like Booker's. You can walk in pretty much anywhere and find it. It's great quality, but some people are mad about the price. The price. So that's where two, two of those circles intersect. But all four of these, all three intersect in that Venn diagram. This is the middle. So now that that's explained, <laughs> Sarah, what's in this flight? In this flight, we have Wild Turkey 101, Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, Early Times Bottled and Bond, and Old Granddad Bonded. Okay, the other like little asterisk in there is uh, the early times bottled and bond because right. it's not available everywhere. It came out in 2017, but it's getting released into more and more states and I feel like it's on its way. It's becoming more available. Yes, to being a lot of places. Right. Uh, let's talk about price real quick mm -hmm. on these. Um, we got $15 with the Evan Williams bottled and bond. 20. Couple 20s. Yeah, with the Turkey 101 and the old granddad bonded. And again, mm -hmm. this is just in our neck of the in woods. Our neck of the woods. I don't know where things are. Give Give or, give or take. I don't know. And then that liter, that uh, early, early times, times is a liter. So if you adjust that to a 750, like the rest of these, it comes out at 1875. But even still, 25 bucks for the full liter is right. a value. Boom! All right, I love it. Let's get started with bourbon A. All right. Mmm. Hello. Yum yum Hello. yum 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 yum. Caramely goodness. Spicy. I'm sure everyone's sick of me saying car caramely. Caramely. Caramely goodness. Well, well car that's caramel very, is delicious. That's very bourbon. Of, of you. How very bourbon of you. <laughs> but yeah, it's got uh, it's got some nice little sharp spice on it. There's like a graham cracker note in there too. Mm. Mm. You can tell that this is going to be, you know, we know what these proofs are, but it, it's smelling like it's it's proof. Which is a good reflection of the Venn diagram, yeah. I guess. Ooh, it smells good. I just want to, let's dive in. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I wasn't ready for that bite. <laughs> Got some kick, right? It does have a little bit of kick, but kick. it's also balanced by like a mm. nice sweetness. I still get a bit of a graham cracker taste on there. Not the texture though, which I think could be bad with bourbon. You know, I, graham, I, cracker, I, graham crackers can be dry. I don't want a graham cracker uh, mouthfeel. No, um, I don't. It is starting to go down into the chest already. First pour right off the bat, uh, giving, the, giving you that Kentucky hug. Medium finish, pretty good. A teeny tiny bit of nuttiness in there. I think it might be more like um, like an almond, not not a super nutty. Mm -hmm. But it's it's yeah, nut. it's there. Yeah, it's <laughs> not, there. Not a super nut. Mmm. That one's got a bit more of the toasted oak coming through. Yeah. Mm, oh. Kind of chocolatey, silky. No more. This one's more of like a uh, a, a strong like syrup. Um, the the oak is coming through. Yeah. A little stronger. Richer. In its own way, yeah, richer. Yeah, go. I got more sweetness on A. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Mm. The char on that is really nice. The toasty oak comes through. It is. It is richer and darker. I mean, they were both nice in their own ways, but a little, a little drier, but not dry in a negative way. You get dry can be negative for me on a bourbon, but this one's just a little 
drier, almost like. The first one was sweeter too. Yeah, like a, a puff of a cigar, if you will. It's just, mm, you know. I can see that. More like that. I think there is a little bit of a tobacco note on there too, but a lot of it is just like a dark brown sugar, toasted oak, a little bit of smoke yeah. or cigar. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what, I am mm. continuously impressed by mm. how these that are all under $25, how good these first two are. Yeah. It's under, so under, refreshing. Let's just say under 20. Well, let's just say under 20. Adjusting for 175. If you adjusted. You're, getting, you're really getting a even better value. Whew. That uh, early times is also introducing size mm -hmm. or quantity into our, what is a Venn diagram if there are three, four? A, I don't know. A four diagram. Well, I think that just goes into its value. I think so too. The, the yeah. quantity. More perfumey, more floral. I'm only getting like a really, really faint floral note on this. I'm not getting much at all, actually. It is it's a little not bit more, speaking up. Right, it's a little more understated. It's muted. <clears throat> yeah, not a whole lot to talk about nose-wise. Let's see what it's got. Super mellow. Very chill. Very chill, easy to drink. Sweet. A little bit of sweet, yeah. It does, it kind of lights up the side of your tongue though. Uh -huh. um, I got With visions. a little bit of heat. Sorry, I got visions of corn. Sugar plums dancing in your head? Well, oh, corn, corn dancing in my head. <laughs> Not corn Little as corns, in. Just... <laughs> let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. No, not in like young, but just co like sweetness. Corn, maybe more like corn syrup, you know? Yeah. Building heat with this one. It's not having as strong of a personality as A and B for me. Right. I think it'd be interesting to come back hmm. to and try it in a different order. Yeah. I can definitely tell that the quality is there. It's pretty balanced, yeah. uh, pleasant, e like I said, easy, mellow, laid yeah. back. So I guess it kind of just depends on what you're looking for. Another subtle, subtle. Yeah. Su a subtler. <laughs> nose. A more subtle, sub now you got me. <laughs> now I can't. It's so subtle. subtle. Supposedly. So oh, jeez. I get a little bit of mustiness on this and just like the yeah. faintest air of nuttiness, but it's off there in the distance. We left it behind the road about, about a mile back. <laughs> it's in the wind. It's back there. It's in the wind. All right. I love it. How we get to Bourbon D and we're like, yeah, it's got a nose. Let's drink it. <laughs> right. We're just like, all right, I'm done, you know, <laughs> spitting out words. I'm done waxing poetically. Yeah. The, I'm just uh, ready to drink nosy it. Nosy notes. I just want to, yeah. I want to, I want to drink. Okay. This is different. It is. Uh, it's kind of dark. It's kind of dark. It's got, I think, maybe the most wood forward, most barrel forward. The hinging, finish. Hinging on bitter. Hinging. Just, a, just about. Doesn't I think it's there. a lot of that char. Yeah. That burnt. It doesn't um, go there. No, it doesn't. Don't, don't you go there. Don't go there. Oh, no, you did. Let's not go there. Let me just get a sip of water. Oh, yeah. You, you take a sip, then you go back to the nose. You get more of that just deep or dark type of... I'm gonna try this trick that Smells. I learned. What is with this hair? <laughs> oh, it was a fuzz. I was okay. like, what in the world? Uh, here. Science. This show is all about science today. Whoa. If you haven't tried that, you need to try that. <laughs> it's crazy. It's really cool. Super barrel forward. Super oaky. A little bit of nuttiness, but this one's more like peanut mm. cashew. Second sip, I like it a lot more. This is one, you know, coming off of Bourbon C may have been a little bit of a, a, a really um, a what, what? juxtaposition. Yeah. But second sip, acclimated to it. I'm like, oh, okay. I see what you're putting down. It's, I'm picking up. The proof is coming through on this one a yeah, lot too. Yeah, for sure. Which it's hard to believe if you had just given me Bourbon C and Bourbon D together and said, hey, tell me what, what you think about these. What are they? Mm -hmm. um, I would not have put them close to each other in proof. Now, mm. I probably wouldn't have put them more than 10 proof points apart, but I probably would have put C around 90-ish, and I probably would have put D around 100. Mm, agreed. Okay, well, we've gone through them once. If you're, uh, you know, if you're a regular here, you know what we do. We do them twice because things change in round two. So we're going to take right. a little break, cover these up, go let our palettes reset and come back and do it. But before we do that, we want to tell you about WhiskeyAmbitions.com. Hey, look, it's where you can get both of these t-shirts available on WhiskeyAmbitions.com. The Glen Cairns that we're drinking from, our water glasses, we have rocks glasses, challenge coins, and always more coming soon. That's WhiskeyAmbitions.com. You can become a patron at Patreon.com slash It's Bourbon Night and join in our community and conversation. We've got patron-only podcasts. We've got another round with Chad and Sarah where we talk a little bit after the show, which is so fun because usually that's when we've had all the bourbons <laughs> yeah um and you know more stuff coming all the time inside scoops and whatnot yes all right uh we're gonna go take a little break 
See you in a minute. All right, and we're back nice and refreshed. Oh, I feel ready to go. How about you, Sarah? <sighs> I feel hydrated. Woo! Okay, let's do it again. Start again. The flight's so nice, we're doing it twice. Oh, I thought you were going to keep going up. I was like, <laughs> oh, how far can he go? I like this nose more now, coming back after having the other three. It has almost like a chocolate filled, like a, you know, the chocolates that come with the cherry cream on the inside. Uh, yeah. Oh, but he doesn't like that. Uh, okay. Well, pardon me. <laughs> I like the ones with coconut. Me too. Is that why I can never find the ones with coconut? Hmm. What's that? <laughs> it's good. Ooh, yeah. I like the spice level on this yeah, one. Yeah, it's got a nice spice. It's got, again, I just like the caramely flavor that's on there. Finish is nice, warms you right up. It's me a medium-ish mm. finish. I mean, I wouldn't expect a long finish on any of these, It's though. as long as any of these others. Right, yeah. So it's definitely holding up there. Yeah. I like it. Me too. Oh, I almost get like a butterscotch note. You you said, did you say musty first time? No, that was on bourbon D. Okay. Because this sort of has a little bit of a, a tr like a trapped type of... I think I said toasted oak and I don't remember what else, but I'm still getting that, but I'm also getting a little bit of a butterscotch note. Yeah. Um, but like a butterscotch candy, not, uh -huh. not like real butterscotch. Right. Which is made with brown sugar. <laughs> That's why it tastes like bourbon. Yeah, this is that darker, oh. deeper one. Oh, nothing. What? Did you crack the case? Maybe. I mean, do you want me to say it or how, no? How well does that usually work out for you? Actually, it's been working yeah, pretty, it's good. Pretty, it's pretty good. It's been pretty good lately. It's been doing pretty good, yeah, pretty good. I have thoughts, but I don't want to ruin it for you, so I'm gonna write it on the back of the card. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. All right, it's written on the back of the Venn diagram card. Whether I'm right or not right, mm. I still like that a lot. The yeah. flavor is just so rich and nice. It is, it is. And what's really important is to take at least two sips of these because mm -hmm. you need to like get that last one off your tongue. Even with water in between, you need to get acclimated and then take that that sip that counts. The one that counts. The first the one's just one. an introduction, you know. Yeah. Judge, don't judge a book bourbon by its cover. Mm -hmm. That would actually be the bottle, but... Don't judge a bourbon by its first sip. First impressions aren't always right. Actually, they usually are. Oh. Flowers. Floral and muted. Very muted floral. And that's about... It's a 2020 print of spring. Well, uh -huh. little um, citrus. Super soft. Very approachable. I like it. It's very approachable. Again, I think <clears throat> that this one's just a general crowd pleaser. Like, mm -hmm. it's easy. Nobody's going to be like, blech. Right. There's nothing disagreeable about it. It's no. solid. That's why these are all values, because they're yeah. good. Yeah, this is going to be a tough flight. This is going to be a tough flight. Nice finish. Yeah. Still that musty, slightly yeah, nutty. Yeah, but this time I got more like baking bread. Okay. Or uh, mm -hmm. more more like dough. Yeah, I don't think dough, it's even yeasty. really started yeah. to bake. It maybe just started. Yeah. Just in the Flour oven. and... Mm -hmm. Okay. Getting used to it. It has got grain... In, not in a young way. It's grains. A lot of grains. Yeah. Um, I still get a little bit of that nuttiness. It's almost like if you ground up your own flour and there was, I don't know, is there a bread that uses ground nuts? <laughs> sure. Cashew flour. Is that a thing? Almond flour. There we go. Almond flour. A little musty still. Good. Ah, I'm getting more of the nuttiness. Um, second sip. Yeah. I think the really cool thing about all of these is I don't think any of them are, are alike. At all. Yeah, yeah, they're all pretty different. Okay, we have successfully, I would say successfully, gone through this twice. No. We won't do thrice. Well, we well, we will. Well, we will, but you don't have to watch. But it's not in order. This is where we start A-B testing. We put things back to back that weren't there before. So this is where we leave you, uh, and we'll be Bid back you, I do. when it's results time. You know what time it is, Sarah? It's results time. We have an order. We have a different order. We have a different order. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Listen to what <laughs> I'm saying. We have a different order. What's your last place? Bourbon D. My fourth place, I should say, instead of last place, is also Bourbon D. So let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. In fourth place, Bourbon D is... Evan Williams bottled and bond. That's I a surprise. I was surprised by that. But 
I thought that that slight nuttiness huh. could be because it, heaven only wow. uses the, like the barley and it comes with sometimes can give you that nuttiness which uh-huh. can be reminiscent of Jim Beam. Sure. So I was like, is it the old granddad? And then I was like, I don't know. I kind of think it's the Evan Williams. Wow. It's good. I, I was, didn't dislike it. Yeah, I, I was just trying put it not forth. to guess. Not that my hypothesis had anything to do with the way that I placed it. If you guys, I mean, obviously you guys aren't going to think that I'm going to fault Heaven Hill. <laughs> Neil. I love Heaven Hill. No. Yeah, this was a really, really tight race. We it was should, very we should tight. say that. I had a lot of trouble with this one. <clears throat> Me too. Okay, what's your second place? Bourbon C. That's my third place. Okay. So let's do let's that one. Let's reveal that one. My third. My second. Okay, Bourbon C is... Old Granddad. Old Granddad bonded. Third for me, second for you. That surprises me, because if you're Jim B- Wow, what are we doing? I don't know. The Who world, are we and what world, are we doing? Let's flip turn upside down. So somewhere between first and third for me is the early times in Turkey. Yeah. But again, I didn't dislike any of these. I could go in different directions with different moods. That's right. I think Agreed. Agreed. All of these would be great if you were having people over. Yes. To just, you could literally spin a wheel and you'd be happy with any mm. of them. With that being said, that being said my put, first place is B. And I put it second. So let's reveal your third place, my first? Yeah, let's do that. All I right. feel like I get to go first a lot. <laughs> okay. And it was just your birthday not that long That's ago. That's true. At the time it's filming yesterday. Uh, Sarah's third place, my first place, Bourbon A is... Wild Turkey 101. Wild Turkey 101. You are correct. Sometimes you just know. That turkey... I struggled a lot with this lineup. It's yeah. good. It's really good. It's really good. Wow. Which makes my second place and Sarah's first place, that Bourbon early, B, which is early times. the early times bottled in bonds. And wait for it. Yes, she guessed Did it. I, early times. I guessed it. It was that Brown Foreman uh, profile. But that it, slight... it almost got by me. It wasn't and until it, the second round. It wasn't it until the itself. second round that it's it revealed true. itself to it's me. True. And it wasn't because I was looking for it. Mm-hmm. I was like thinking about how much I really liked Bourbon B because it had those like dark, brown, sugary, yeah. oaky notes to it. And it was so good. Yep. And then I was like, <gasps> it dawned on me. This is, this is Brown Foreman. This is Brown Foreman. Not that that goes into any of the thought process uh, of deciding. Again, but, yeah. if I was that kind of person, I would obviously have put the Evan Williams bottle in a bond first to continue the theory that I just am obsessed with Heaven Hill. There you go. And I would have put... But I'm not that kind of person. I would have put Old Granddad. Well, but I, that Turkey 101. But though. Turkey 101. But, but also Evan Williams bottle in a bond. Yeah, so... But also just, the early times was so good. It's just a whole thing. It's a whole thing. We should also say that we picked a lot of these bourbons because of our early times bottled in bond and corking right. that we did at the at time of this filming a week before. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the comments were, would you pick this or Wild Turkey 101? Would you pick this or Evan Williams bottled in bond? Would you pick this or Old Granddad? Um, so the answer is... It depends on which one of us that you ask. <laughs> and it depends on, honestly, if the, you're having them the all day, at once. Yeah. I think that if we did this again in a week, I might pick something different for first. Not yeah. not intentionally. Right. Just, they're all good. They're mm. all so quality. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, wow, fun fun times. All these, again, under 20 bucks, mostly, depending on where you are. Literally. Strong contenders here. Treat yourself and go treat buy all four of them. Sale. And then you decide. Yeah, exactly. You get four bottles for the price of one fancy bottle. Ooh, I like that. Hey, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, you can click right up here to do so. There's also suggestions of other videos that you can click down here. We hope to see you over there in those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm-hmm.